My Lords, I rise very briefly just to make comments on two of these amendments. Uh, first of all, an Amendment 204A, um, which the noble lady Baroness Andrews introduced so powerfully, and I share others' strong preference for this rather than the, the weaker uh, amendment of 204B. And I just want to um, emphasise a point made by the noble lady Baroness Andrews about embodied carbon. Um, these are structures that were built in the past. They are there for us, and knocking them down and building something again has environmental costs, which we really have to start to take seriously. And somewhat along that line, I just want to pick up a, um, a phrase by the, used by the noble um, Earl, Earl Lytton. Um, talking about we might want to knock things down and replace them with tidier looking buildings. And I would really like to ask your Lordship's House to think very carefully about that phrase tidy, because heritage and history is seldom tidy, just as nature is not tidy. Straight lines, very even uh, frameworks. Those, the idea that tidiness is a virtue is something that's done enormous amounts of damage and is something that we really, I think, need to challenge. With a lack of tidiness, there may well be character, diversity, reality, rather than something new and artificial. And the second point uh, amendment I wanted to comment on was to actually commend the Government Amendment uh, 271A about the extension of blue plaques. But to take this opportunity to um, invite the Noble Lord, the Minister, from the dispatch box um, to comment on and reflect on perhaps the fact that currently in Greater London only 14 per cent of the Blue Parks uh, uh, commemorate the lives and contributions of women. Um, I have myself looked at this and tried to see if we, I could get a, a plaque for Mole Cut Purse or Basua Macon. Um, unfortunately, the buildings with which they are associated uh, do not survive. But would the Noble Lord the Minister take this opportunity from the dispatch box to really reflect on the need to ensure the encouragement of women and greater diversity in the lives that are commemorated.